Good morning, students. We see a great varieties of plants and animals around us. There is a great varieties of plants and animals around us because of adaptation. What is adaptation? Let's have some brainstorming on adaptation. Adaptation. What is adaptation? Gradual changes occurring in the body parts and in the behavior of organisms which help them to adjust to their surrounding is called as adaptation. It is because of adaptation we see a great varieties of plants and animals around us. Again, what is adaptation? Adaptation. Gradual changes occur in the body parts and in the behavior of organisms which help them to adjust to the surrounding is called as adaptation. Adaptation is a long process. It is a gradual change. It is not a sudden change. It helps the organism to adjust to the surrounding in order to survive. Again, what is adaptation? Adaptation. Gradual changes occur in the body parts and in behavior of organisms which help them to adjust to their surrounding is called as adaptation. The first type of adaptation which we are going to study is adaptation in aquatic plants. in aquatic plants. What are the adaptation in aquatic plants? The roots of aquatic plants are firmly rooted to the soil. With their stem inside the water and the leaves and flower float on the water. 
this is the first type of adaptation in aquatic plants aquatic plants the roots of aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil which stem under the water but leaves and flowers float on the surface of the water this is the first adaptation which we find in aquatic plants the second sometimes The first adaptation which we see in aquatic plants is that the roots of aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil which stem under the water. But leaves and flowers float on the surface of the water. Sometimes the entire plant floats on the water. And when the entire plant floats on the water, the roots are not firmly rooted. The third the leaves of the aquatic PLA and plants are thin slender. The leaves of the aquatic plants are thin, slender like a ribbon and covered by a layer of thick wax. The leaves of the aquatic plants are thin slender like a ribbon and are covered with a thick wax they are thin and slender to withstand the water current to survive in the water current
air space are present in the stem and petiolus which help them to float my dear student these are the adaptation which are there in aquatic plants which help them to adjust to the surrounding so that they can survive again we will have the brainstorming on adaptation in aquatic plants the first the roots of aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil which stay under the water but leaves and flower floats on the surface of water first adaptation sometimes the entire plant float on the surface of the water therefore their roots are not firmly rooted the leaves of aquatic plants are thin and slender like a ribbon and covered with a layer of thick wax air space are present in the stem and petioles which help them to float on the water my dear student this was adaptation in aquatic plants which help them to survive to the surrounding now we'll have brainstorming on a new topic that is adaptation in desert plants adaptation in desert plant the first adaptation the roots the roots of desert plant grows deep in the soil in search of water you know my dear student in desert there is scarcity of water and therefore to adjust to the surrounding what happens the roots of the desert plant grow deep into soil in search of water the second adaptation in desert plants is leaves are either absent but or the leaves are either absent or modified into thorns to prevent the loss of water
द स्टेम इज ग्रीन इन कलर एंड टेक्स पार्ट इन फोटोसिंथेसिस it not only take part in photosynthesis but also store food and water it is covered by a thick layer of sand again what is adaptation in desert plants the first adaptation in desert plant is the root of the desert plant grows deep in the soil in search of water first second leaves are either absent or modified into thorns to prevent the loss of water the third the stem is green in color and take part in photosynthesis i hope you all know what is photosynthesis the process by which the plant prepare their own food is called as photosynthesis it stores food and water it is covered by a thick layer of wax now dear student from the adaptation we learn that the living organism get adjusted towards the surrounding in order to survive we will stop here student in the next class again i will come with adaptation of a new type which is given in the book thank you